guys. So, um, I am working on a piece for the three do's and three don'ts collaboration with, uh, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. I challenged her at the end of my, um, last challenge with Rinska. And so I gave her three do's and three don'ts, and now she has given me three do's and three don'ts. So for those that have not seen Karen's video where she gave me three do's and three don'ts, I'm gonna list them off for you regardless, but um, just check up above there on the right-hand corner, and there is a link to that video. Um, so, uh, first thing, my three do's are, I had to use, um, I'm sorry, I had to create, um, the swipe technique using all the Bloom recipe products. That's the house paint, the varnish, the cell activator, uh, the pouring medium mixture and paints, etc. Um, I had to do negative space in my piece and I had to use at least five or five colors. So um, my base is one of my colors and it's going to be um, white, which is a house paint. I put it in the other room. Um, it's actually an exterior house paint. I'm not sure how it's going to do. So you may or may not see this video if it doesn't work. Um, so I had to do incorporate the five colors, negative space and use the bloom technique to swipe. My don'ts are, I had to, I, I could not use a small canvas, nothing under the size of 12 by 12. So I have a 16 by 20 here, and I like working with larger canvases anyways, so this works out really great. Um, I could not use any metallics, and for those of you who watch my channel and my videos, every painting I make has a metallic in it. So, um, this was difficult. <laughs> and then I also could not swipe more than two times. And Karen was like, uh, too bad. If you don't like it, you don't like it, but two swipes, that's all I get. So, um, I've never done a swipe using the bloom recipe so this should be fun I have uh, done a bloom before um, I have a couple of videos but not much I haven't really dived fully into it I've dabbled here and there so this this should be fun I, I'm sort of excited about the outcome um, it could be a complete and epic fail but I've watched a few of her videos um, I've watched lots of her videos just in general, but specifically with the technique that I'm going to be doing, um, I wanted to make sure I, I did it as appropriate as I could. So the first thing we are going to do is lay down our, uh, what they call the pillow. And this is, um, four cups of house paint and a quarter cup of the GAC 800. For my pouring medium, Minwax Polycrylic right over here. And and for my pouring medium, I used Glidden's Premium Semi Gloss uh, Base 3. And I mixed that with the polycrylic. And uh, so I did a two to one ratio, I believe, with this. No, I did something else. I'll put it all in the video description box. I, I can't recall, I've been, I feel like a mad scientist mixing all this stuff up. So for me to remember anything, well, we're lucky I know my name. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna put down the pillow God, um, there we go. Sure, that'll work. All right, and then we're gonna put our colors. I'm using Amsterdam Cobalt Blue, Turquoise Green, and um, 
I used Arteza's <clears throat> yellow green. And then for my cell activator, I'm using Prussian blue by Amsterdam. And my cell activator is Floetrol, Australian Floetrol. So, all right, let's see how this goes. Good Lord, two swipes. I gotta keep remembering, just two swipes. <laughs> so. And I gotta make sure I do some negative space so I do have more white mixed up over there. And then I have the yellow green. Hmm. All right. Let me, I am going to use a spatula like she did. And I am going to drizzle this on, but not over the painting. I suppose that would be a bad thing, huh? What a mess. All right. And I'm going to Oh my God. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. Um, I love this. And now I'm only allowed to do one more swipe. Um, oh gosh, I don't even want to swipe it anymore. Um, all right. I'm gonna come this way this time. Oh my Lord, even the, I gotta bring you guys down. This is so crazy. Uh, hold on. All right. I love this. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but at least I know it's going to work. <laughs> but then I wipe the spatula off and then I get all of these beautiful cells down here. I should have put another canvas over here. I didn't think this was going to work as well. Um, okay, sorry for the shadow. All right, let's get you guys back up here. All right. And maybe bring you in. Okay. Is that right? Oh, I gotta get that silly thing down here. Good gosh. All right. Okay. So I think what I want to do is put a little bit of the white there because I want to be able to bring it to the edge. All right. I'm actually just going to bring that off because why can't I? 
and say I couldn't scrape off of the thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I actually don't mind the purple and the green up there. It sort of looks like a caterpillar. And I want to get right over here. Get my paints out of there. <clears throat> okay, so I know um, when Karen announced that this was going to be my, let me get rid of those little, okay, well, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pull it off anyways, a little bit of air bubbles going on there. I know when Karen gave me my do's and don'ts, some people were hard on her for being hard on me. But um, there's really no reason to be hard on Karen for being hard on me because the whole point of this challenge is to challenge the other artist. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm just bringing it back to balance it a bit. Oh my goodness. I guess we never discussed how much negative space, right? Oh my, good Lord. Whoa, I'm done. I'm not gonna stretch anymore. This is so awesome. I'm really psyched. I'm so excited. Okay, I can't freaking believe this. I didn't think it would. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm thinking. I don't know. But uh, I'm loving it. So let me bring you guys in. Okay. Oh, gosh. Well, this is what I call a bloom, bloom swipe. <laughs> I have a little bit of negative space. Does that count, Karen? I hope so. And then whatever was going on here, I'm okay with it. Sort of blends with everything else. But this piece is amazing. I might have to go larger because look at those cells. The cell structure is just incredible. Okay, I, I, I'm, I can't gloat anymore. Like this is just, I have to show Karen because you know, I'm so proud. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, collaboration. I'm gonna show the dried results if it dries nicely. See you guys soon.
Okay, here is the dried results of the first one. And I think it dried fairly well. I'm pleased with it. This is actually more green than it is yellow. I'm not quite sure, there we go. Just the angle that I'm at, I guess. And the kitties have decided to come and visit also. Hello, kitties. So I'm pretty psyched about my first try. Um, next video, which is coming up in just a moment, um, I'm actually gonna try it on a, a larger canvas and actually spin it out. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And be sure to be watching through the end of this video because I am calling out another artist and challenging another artist of the three do's and three don'ts challenge. And uh, I'm really excited um, to be doing this again with another artist. So keep on watching guys. Bye. As you can see, I've created this corral of plastic and um, uh, doggy piddle pads to catch anything flying. Um, the only thing that I think will get paint on it are my legs, but that's okay. That's what paper towels for. But I really wanted to do a big one and I put it on a turntable or a lazy Susan or a cake spinner, whatever it might be. Uh, so it does go round, round, round. So with that being said, we are going to put down our puddle and go from there. Hopefully I have enough white mixed up, um, but we'll find out. All right. The colors. There are this color right here. The, and Ah. I think that's my green. I've done a couple of other pieces, which you'll see in videos coming up. Um, and I felt like my green was sort of taking over a bit. Uh, so I didn't want to use too much in this. Oh man, I'm nervous. All right. So what I'm going to use as my cell activator, I'm just going to put it, actually we'll put it right there because it's making it uneven. Here's my handy little spatula. Looks so pretty. Clean that off real good. And in my other videos, I did not use the cake spinner at all. So. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. <clears throat> so I have my colors, just wiping this off so the paint doesn't dry on it while I make a further mess. <laughs> All right. So I think what I want to do Put my gloves on. 
those aren't swipes those are twirls so don't don't judge man don't judge <laughs> so here we go I don't know if it's gonna work I love what's going on here and I sort of want to bring this down. So I am going to tilt this. to get that do not like the blue and green down there showing up like they own the piece I can always take that off after okay Just gonna tilt it a little to get off of the edges. It's not fully covering and I'm sort of running out of paint. I didn't want to have to mix up some more. just want to get my sides covered and then we're gonna bring you guys in for a close-up all right guys here is the dried result of the second one in the video I love this area here and really had hoped that this color would come through further in more of the painting but i really love the outcome of this um i can't really be upset about it i guess it's really big so i'm trying to get it in the whole camera there we go all right so this is this is the final piece and um this was so much fun to do and i really appreciate karen as an artist for challenging me um, beyond my comfort zone and um, having me do this piece. All right, it's time to call out another artist. This time around, I'm calling out an artist that I've never worked with before, but who does amazing work. Molly's Artistry, I challenge you to the three do's and three don'ts challenge, and here are your do's. Do use fuchsia as your base coat. Do a negative space piece and do a cloud pour straight pour. The don'ts are uh, do not blow out your paint. Do not tilt the canvas more than three times. And do not use more than five colors. And that includes the base coat. So the base coat is fuchsia with four additional colors in the straight pour. So I hope you accept this challenge and I'm really excited to see what you come back for me. Uh, does that make any sense? Or whatever challenge you give me, I'm really looking forward to accepting. Um, so guys, if you haven't gotten a chance to watch the other artists, three do's and three don'ts today, um, Rinska, Donna, uh, Massey Art Studios, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, and myself, we all did the do's and don'ts challenge. 
You can find their links below in my video description box. And I hope you guys had a really great time. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.